Hi and welcome to Sitam Church Online Talk Show. My name is Karirwa Laura and definitely joined by amazing people to my right ladies first. It's <laughs> Carrie Kagiri, thank you for watching. <laughs> and, and to my are, left with that wonderful blue shirt. You know, yours truly, Kimashia. Hey. Mm, I tell you. Yeah, so guys, this one is going to be a little bit of a yeah. toe-stepping yeah. topic yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because many people are at home now. Mm -hmm. Uh, kuna kafu. Eh? Mm -hmm. So now um, there are particular people who don't get to the house at particular times, mm -hmm. and now they are having they're to. They're getting there. Mm -hmm. They're having to mm -hmm. because you know you, people would go to sleep before they see them, mm -hmm. so you wouldn't have to cross each other on the Ever. corridors. Mm -hmm. But now you have to. Mm -hmm. What to wanna kwa Rosanna, let mm -hmm. me tell you. Yes. And it's real. Mm -hmm. And it's actually not something to joke about. Yeah. Uh, it's something that we should actually now take take it upon ourselves to handle it now more than ever mm -hmm. and be able to discover the things in our homes that are not working right, yeah. the things in our friendships and address them. Yes. There's a lot of strife. What, how, where can we begin this? Uh, like, what are some of these things that you think cause strife, these unspoken things that mm -hmm. cause strife mm -hmm. amongst siblings, amongst parents, parents. amongst couples? friends what are some of these unspoken things i think some of them that we have not been able to deal with mm -hmm. are personalities yeah so the personalities are coming out for real now mm -hmm. i am you know i've come from school mm -hmm. i don't spend as much time as my with my parents mm -hmm. so they can pretend she has time for you putting down those you know, personalities yeah it's gone okay. so day one you'll be like oh your chef yombo sour day two i well, mini made hire someone, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I just say okay. day three, yeah. day four. So I'm just feeling like, especially, unfortunately, um, couples yeah. who have been in corporate. Yes. They've sent the maid home mm. this season. They yeah. help the domestic manager. Yeah. Whatever word will suit sit well. Mm. She's gone home, mm -hmm. and Mama now has to remove the nails. Yeah. And work at it. And she's like, what? Yeah. What, what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So such kind of things can bring mm -hmm. um, conflict, new roles and responsibilities, mm -hmm. personalities. Okay. I think those are what are clashing right okay. now. Okay. And I think time plays a big role in people yeah. getting to know each other. Yes. And then now we have the time we never used to have. Mm -hmm. Now parents are getting to, you know, there's this thing that sometimes, I think I also had that struggle. Mm -hmm. Growing up, you think you know your parents because you live in the same house. Yes. Nope. But then you realize, no, 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 no. My dad can get, ha! <laughs> My mom can get, you know. Yes. And everybody can get that. Yeah. But I just mean, you need to discover these things. And you will discover them as you get to spend time mm -hmm. with each other and talk and all that. And I think one of the reasons people are having a lot of strife is because now more than ever, then you're having to talk. Yeah. Because we make a sitting room, mm. okay. and then st topics mm -hmm. start coming up, and then you differ, and then you see how this person can yell, mm -hmm. and you're surprised. What? You can really yell? Or even they bring up something <laughs> from 1992. You remember <laughs> that <laughs> day. And then it makes you realize that they're carrying unforgiveness, yeah. that they've never forgiven you for something you did. Which actually, for me, that was my biggest thought of strife. You know, bitterness and baggages that we are carrying, at times, even unmet expectations. You know, whereby you are imagining things in your head. But also in this season, I, I think the whole issue of pressure. You know, from life, you know, the agents are there knocking at the door. We need rent, food. And as a man, and especially men outside there, you're feeling now, what do I do with this family? And then all of a sudden, your wife starts telling you, as communication happens, the yelling. Just like, if you are only to know how much stressed I am, yeah. thinking about the rent yeah. and how the future will be. Yeah. So, and then now in the process, misunderstandings mm -hmm. just come in. And all of a sudden, unfortunately, we have couples who have fought in this season. You know, we have people who've been raped and we say this with so much love and care and we are so sorry, our hearts go out to you. We have people in the past and now where a couple just, you, you shoot and you kill and you imagine end up throwing someone just yeah, so, we so have siblings who cannot look each yes, other in the eye. In the eye. Um, even friendships, let's not forget. Friendships too. Because you're just like, okay, sasa ju siko, siko mm. na wewe in the same class anymore. Yeah. You're not going to holler at me. can't even call. Na siyeti ni mezima simu. You know. I'm always a lot one who is calls. Being, you exactly. know, you don't take the initiative. Exactly. Mm -hmm. A lot is being tested yes. clearly. Yes. So we've been able to at least um, chomoa a few things. Yes. that. But I think um, it's good to just remember mm -hmm. that 
these things are also just part of daily life. It's only that now more than ever, they're coming out because we're getting the time to see them and deal with them now more than ever. Yeah. But I think if we'll take this season to learn how to deal with living with people, mm -hmm. it will help us in the future. Mm -hmm. It will help us to see that um, I need to communicate mm -hmm. and this person needs me to communicate to them in this way and things like that. Mm -hmm. So then how exactly do we deal? Okay, the strife is there already. Mm -hmm. How do we deal with it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I learned a uh, kind word turns away wrath. Yeah. So, someone comes up in your face, and yes, you have Majibu as well. <laughs> but you're like, WWJD, what, what would Jesus, Jesus do now? <laughs> so, yeah. first of all, you know, just being able to mm -hmm. take it in. Mm -hmm. But this is what happens. In life, no one ever taught us yeah. about conflict resolution. I think it should be a class. It should be a topic in church. It should be how do you resolve conflict and not everything has to be solved in the moment just walk away just be like can we i'm sorry and then can we solve it please please do it <laughs> go for it Pasi. go for it me too okay you me can go first Cha. oh because you see <laughs> uh, what comes to mind is this uh -huh. john 10 mm -hmm. the thief comes to steal to kill and to destroy and he will use whatever thing he needs to use including communication you know, of course, you're telling us that a soft answer will turn away wrath. The power of just saying, I'm sorry, That's forgive me. Mm -hmm. Strife is the opposite of peace. Mm -hmm. And it is not of God. Yeah. That means it's of the devil. Yeah. So, as we read on how to do self-resolution and everything, hey, be penteki doggo. Like, fight the, the fight the real enemy. Fight the real enemy. Because the yeah. enemy is not your brother. That's the point. It's, it's the enemy. You know? scatter that sibling yeah. relationship. Yeah. So that now when you look at your brother, you are disgusted. When you look at your spouse, your friend, now the enemy has achieved his purpose to steal kill and destroy so fight the real enemy fight the real enemy Laura and Pasi, enemy. women and, and women are different yeah. mm -hmm. when i'm trying to be in a fight yeah. and you're here telling me you're sorry uh. i'm even more annoyed i'm like you're saying sorry just so that you don't talk about this you know, yeah. you know when i don't yeah. say sorry yeah. what do i say yeah so then manage your emotions <laughs> maybe that's another okay way. okay yeah. manage your emotions manage that's emotions. something so it's both sides but right. then again mm -hmm. um I, I'm hearing what Carrie is saying. Yes. Manage your emotions, yes. but also speak. Yes. Because let me tell you, you may not feel it, <laughs> but let I me relate. tell you, when you keep quiet, some resentment. Yeah. So you'd rather speak about it. Uh -huh. If you if you know yourself and you know yes. that your mouth is just a pot of yes. fire, yes. write a letter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please. Mm -hmm. And then don't write send a nice letter, letter immediately because uh -huh. you might read it after a while and realize, and you realize oh, oh what am I yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think it's good to wait for things to cool down and know and just be wise about when's a good time to talk about yeah, things yeah. um what else mm. manage your emotions pray pray, pray. pray. Yeah. like think about the other person be empathetic mm. don't yeah. be selfish yeah. be empathetic yes. but try to also see where you're wrong you're not mm. always right mm. that's true so try to see where you're wrong and be ready to apologize awesome. if you're the one who's on the wrong um and i think as a crown for me i'm already crowning mm. okay. i'd say love Wow. Love. Yani, love if you multitude. see people, if you see everybody in this life through the lens of love, wow. you'll be so gracious. Amen. You'll be so peaceful. I you'll love be the way you so say it. Your bank of grace, your bank of love. Just say it the way you say it. I don't remember how I say it. How <laughs> do I say it? Was from the Holy your Spirit. bank grace is being replenished as you look at them with the eyes Oh yeah, of yeah. Love. Oh yes, I remembered <laughs> once you were talking yeah. about forgiveness wow. and I and I learned something. <laughs> okay. I taught something. <laughs> Um, it's it's actually in I'm not so good with this scripture, uh, no, 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 but um, it's about when Jesus was teaching about forgiveness yes. and how when you don't forgive somebody, yes. oh, no, no, no. And as he was, I wish we could get into that. As he was, um, the teaching there was, yes. as you forgive, mm -hmm. you feel your grace bank. Wow. wow. Awesome. As wow. you forgive, you feel your grace bank because. Wow. Please don't forget that mm. you also need forgiveness mm. and you also are going to be kneeling down before Come that on. God That's every fair. single day to say, yes. God, true. please forgive, forgive me. me. Mm. What, what, what is he going to pick from? Wow. Mm. Because he's going to tell you, okay, Laura, it's not that I don't want to forgive mm -hmm. you. I love you. I'm your Come father. But it. you need to go forgive Kimasha. That's yes. true. You know. Mm. Yeah. So when I forgive Kimasha for something wow. he's done, I'm feeling my grace bank so that when I go before my God, yes. he pours it down it's like you're an amazing girl you're yeah. forgiving and awesome. i love you yeah. and i'll forgive you awesome. so yeah. wow. wow any other parting shots before we finish yeah i think you said put your love glasses on mm -hmm. and 
as you just highlighted mm. we go and we say our father who art in heaven yeah. hallowed be thy name forgive our trespasses as That's we forgive mm. those who mm-hmm. trespass against us it's conditional mm-hmm. yeah yeah it's actually yeah, conditional it's forgive us as we forgive yeah. others yeah. so yeah. forgive a lot a lot a, a lot. lot every time 70 times 70 times for the 70 times a day mm. yeah i'm not married but i hear they say yeah. that marriage is made up of two forgivers Oh, so for like us, two perfect people and two people who mirror each other. Because the moment I have issues with my wife, yeah. actually I'm pointing at her but four fingers. I point it back at you. And actually my parting shot would be this. Yeah. Just to speak a prayer for someone who is out there, they don't yeah. even know how to forgive. Yeah. There are so much pain and bitterness mm-hmm. and in this season maybe they even not in talking terms mm. either with a spouse, yeah. with their parents, maybe can you pray for them? Yeah. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Father, we thank you. Thank you. And we want to come before you with thanksgiving in our hearts. That today, Lord, you're reminding us to fill our grace banks. Yeah. And Father, today we want to pray for many who are hurting out there. Lord, they can't talk with their parents. They can't talk among siblings. Yeah. Some of them have been abused. Some of them in this season of just this partial lockdown, they're wondering, Lord, how do I move on? How do I face whoever maybe they are calling an animal in their lives? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Holy Spirit, you who gives us peace, you yeah. who enables us, I pray that you may enable them. And those who are out there that are hurting, Lord, we pray that you may heal their hearts mm-hmm. and so that the work of the enemy, that is to steal, to kill and to destroy, mm-hmm. it will be destroyed and that the work of Jesus who came to bring life and life in abundance will be made manifest mm-hmm. in the hearts of people. And so we speak a smile and the joy of the Lord over your people. For this our prayer of faith and we all say Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Awesome. Amen. It's going to be okay. Yes. It's going to be okay. Yes. Do your best mm. and please remember to love because God loves all of us. Amen. So remember to love and address everything from a point of love. This is Kitam Church Online Talk Show awesome. and we've had an amazing time. Yay. We thank you for watching this far. So awesome. please, you need to click that subscribe button yes. because every week we have new videos, Amen. different topics. Um, same people most of the times. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, thank you for watching. We love you. Thank you.